Mayor Dondo State Governor Oluwa Rotimi Akeredolu has tested negative for coronavirus. Governor Akeredolu announced this during the weekly broadcast on COVID-19 at the government house in Akure, the state's capital. Akeredolu had on Tuesday, June the 30th, announced via his official Twitter handle that he tested positive for the virus. He explained that he received the negative result in the early hours of Monday. The governor, who had been asymptomatic, however, encouraged the residents of the state to adhere to all measures put in place to combat the spread of the virus. Still in the news, we are now joined by a public affairs analyst, Olufemi Lawson, to take a look at all of this conversation. Good to have you, Mr. Lawson. Good morning. Good morning, Africa. Thank you for joining us. Uh, the governor who tested positive last week said he has tested negative now. Is that not rather swift? Well, it, uh, it is not swift. And I think uh, for people who have actually followed the, the, the COVID-19 pandemic reports, situations, and you know, information from editor, you understand that it is not strange. Especially when you have to look at the number of days that they have actually contacted parents. The fact that it was just announced and tested positive just a few days ago does not necessarily mean that was the day he contacted the virus. I'm very sure, the, I'm not a medical expert, but of course I've been in the advocacy and I've consistently followed issues around the COVID 19. No sense. It broke out, and I can say that this may have gone through its cycle, even almost at the time that the governor's uh, positive result came out. And I know, of course, the regiment of treatment that he has gone through, you know, through, within that period, must have been responsible for the negative outcome you know, that was uh, that was announced yesterday. Mm -hmm. If I may ask you, uh, is there any reason why the governor did not hand over uh, his duties to the deputies, as we have seen other governors, you know, did when they contacted the virus, they immediately, you know, handed over to their deputies. Is there any reason? Well, Governor Kredolu testing positive in the first place was asymptomatic. Okay. And, of course, he has not been in any way incapacitated to perform the duties of office. Unlike some persons who became symptomatic, you know, after contracting this virus, Governor Kredolu has remained, you know, as active as he has been. He has continued to virtually, you know, conduct the business of state. And there was no reason whatsoever to have, you know, asked that he should hand over to his deputy because, you know, he had no critical illness. He was not, uh, you know, affected in any way that, you know, would have limited his capacity to function as the governor. And, you know, even this deputy governor in question is a very, there's nowhere to be found around governance in, you know, in those state today, especially for those of us who are, you know, who are involved and are, and are from that part of the state, you know that this man is busy somewhere chasing, you know, how to become the candidate uh, of another political party as, you know, in the next election. So it may not have been actually proper for anyone to expect that the business of state to be handed over to such a person. Mm -hmm. So Governor Akedonu was very ill and early. He was asymptomatic throughout the period that he tested in the positive. And thank God he's back you know, to work mm -hmm. actively. Uh, speaking of the non-presence of the deputy uh, governor, as you have mentioned there in the state, the governor has also accused that same uh, deputy of sponsoring protests against him. Especially at a time like this, uh, should the governor and the deputy not lay their grievances aside? What do you think? Well, I, one thing we must appreciate about the situation in the state is that despite the antics of the you know, opponent of the governor, the man has consistently remained committed to the business of state. Though it's an election period, and most of the issues around governance in Nondo State today about the deputy not working with the governor are all merely political issues. They are issues of you know ambitions. Of course, it is the right of every individual to have ambitions to be whatever they aspire to be in life, but that must not affect your duty to the people. The governor of Ondo State has a responsibility to the people of Ondo State for the first four years that he has been elected, and he has continued to do that. But while it may not 
have been easy, you know, for him to have sat down and sort out whatever differences with the deputies that, as we speak today, the deputy governor does not belong to the same political party with the governor. And this was a man that was elected. Remember, the people don't vote for individuals in these elections. These elections, have, it is the parties that are represented on the ballot. The people of Ondo State voted for the All Progressives Congress in 2016 under the ticket of Rotina Kredolo and uh, Ajayi. But today, Ajayi is in the opposition PDP. So it may be morally you know, not proper to expect that the governor would continually engage this person under the manifesto and programs of his party, which was the basis of, the, of their being elected in the first place. But I don't know, just like you have also said, the, you know, they are, they are, they are also, uh, of course, like the governor of alleged plans by this opposition element, you know, to disrupt peace, to campaign against the governor, just like you saw yesterday, somebody who have been actively involved in government, you know, already resigning and claiming the governor didn't win election, you know, in 2016. These are tendencies of politicians just to disorganize the polity. Mm -hmm. But I think the governor is not distracted. And on the, on the heels of what you have said, where has this left the people, the people's trust and, you know, the people's loyalty? Where has all of this left them? Because they are the ones who uh, this gentleman are supposed to be serving. And if you see that there, there are issues visibly uh, at the top, where are the people left in all of this? Well, I, I think I, I want to appreciate you for that. You see, Ondo State particularly is a politically sophisticated state. Our people are politically enlightened. And the place of the people in the whole of this is about what dividends has governance brought to the people. You see, for the ordinary people on the streets, it is not usually of so much interest to them what become, whatever becomes the political fortune of any politician. The, what is expected of whosoever has occupied a political position, just like we have in Ondo State today, are the impact they have been able to make on the ordinary people, on the ordinary voters. So as far as the people from those state is concerned today, they are interested in who is going to alleviate their sufferings, who is going to build roads, who is going to expand the infrastructures, who is going to expand the capacity of their, of their children to go to school. That is their interest. That is their priority. And Governor Kredona has been doing his best, to, you know, as it is, even though it may not be enough, to meet these aspirations of the people. The aspiration of the Ondo State people is not about who becomes the governor or the deputy or under whatever platform. Their utmost aspiration is to have a better life, you know, and that is what the governor is preoccupied with. Not necessarily the political intrigues, you know, or the, the, the struggle, you know, for position. Just like he said yesterday, there is no all the dirty struggle to occupy position. It's not what the life of even one individual in Ondo State. So the, the, our people are more concerned about, you know, their welfare, their good governance, and the dividends of democracy, not necessarily about these fiscals, you know, among politicians. Indeed, none of these uh, hiccups among politicians is worth the life of any Nigerian. Thank you so At very all. much, uh, Mr. Lawson, for your contribution. And do keep safe out there. Thank you.